I am here with Victor G from Manta Network. Welcome to Sovereign Radio. Thank you, Anna. Let's kick off with a little bit about Manta Network. What is Manta today? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, we've been building this for past four years, since 2020. And, you know, like, in the beginning, we are, like, working on privacy decks, and then, like, start from Polkadot. And then right now, we are the first modular L2 uh, with Celestia underneath, and uh, still the only generic row up using Celestia DA. Uh, and, you know, generally, we focus on adoption, focus on native yield, uh, focus on great user experience. Uh, and uh, we are OP stack and going to add uh, like a type one prover on top of it to be the ZK EVM. Mm -hmm. uh, but we still keep the Polkadot parachain. So it's Manta Atlantic, which is the L1, but also we have the Manta Pacific is the L2 on Ethereum. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys from 2020. Yes. And actually, I think you were even on my show at some point yeah, back exactly. then. Yeah. Um, so back then you were very much like in the Polkadot ecosystem. Then there was this move over to Ethereum. Yeah. Where did you go first? Like you're now, you're an OP yeah. chain now, yeah. but had you tried anything else in the meantime? Or? Yeah, I mean, like uh, we have a lot of research, you know, like uh, back in the days we, we build the whole stuff like uh, through Gross 16, you know, the like uh, uh, some privacy, like payment decks and Polkadot, that's still st the stack. We are still open source and it's still there. But uh, we didn't launch because, you know, there's a lot of privacy concern. There's a lot of regulation concern. Mm. And we don't want to get trouble for that. You know, yeah. it's not make sense. But uh, it only happens recent years. Actually, you know, it's four years before, that's fine. But uh, we have to survive. We keep building more stuff. So, like, uh, uh, kind of, we, we start finding, you know, like, layer two, there's opportunities. And especially in the modular space, mm. we're really bullish. I start to know like Mustafa's paper since, you know, like uh, really like 2020. And I find, you know, like uh, we, we can be the first generic row up on top of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year, like uh, July, we, we launched the testnet and September we launched the mainnet. Cool. And the December we started, uh, you know, new paradigm, which is a TVL, you know, boost campaign. Yeah. And Is that goes, 2023 you're talking about? Yeah, like just 2020, last year. Yeah, last oh, wow, year. Okay. And uh, early this year, we launched, you know, token, and there's a lot of things happens. Uh, yeah, it's still like recently we have lots of updates. You know, like we focus on RWA for the institution side, work with Binance Safe for the centralized custodian CD5 product, also work with like uh, BlackRock securitize their build fund for the like native yield stablecoin. So that's something, you know, really exciting stuff. Is Manta Atlantic and Pacific bridged in any way? Is there yeah. any connection between these two things? Yeah, there's bridge and uh, we, we somehow build our own bridge. Okay. And uh, leverage like uh, Seller Layer Zero and the Polkadot XEM. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. But uh, it's like uh, there's no like working product. We build a whole user interface, ah. build uh, integrate everything together. But you would need a product built on top, like basically yeah, a user exactly. interface to actually yeah, use exactly. it. But you've just built the underlying stuff. Yeah, the underlying we and we leverage all these three. Cool. Yeah, but also there's some like uh, matches, messaging stuff of our own. Yeah. So now you're firmly. I mean, you. I guess what is it? Uh, Manta Pacific. Yeah, it's the focus. Yeah. That's the focus, that's and that's firmly two. in this like Ethereum land. Yeah, and exactly. Connected, I guess yeah. the DA layer is yeah. is in mo in the modular stack yeah. in Celestia. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you see yourself moving even more towards the modular side of things? Yeah. Are there other integrations that you can do? Yeah, in that I direction. Mean, uh, like I'm not sure you see like uh, Nibra hats. Oh, like, wow! Uh, yeah. Yeah, they are like a uh, lot of exciting stuff. That's funded by Shumo. He left Manta Shumo, last yes. year yeah, yeah. and uh, started to work on Nibra. And uh, we we still good friend. And we finally figure out there's also ways to work. And you know we can add prover on top of OP stack. Mm. That's something exciting. Uh, and also like uh, we we just talked to Hyperland. You know we we are the first one uh, on the like EVM side to integrate Hyperline, Hyperline to Hyperline. Nitro and. Uh, the Neutron and the two, the, like, uh, Celestia. Okay. And uh, there's also ways okay. to integrate more, like, Cosmos chains. 
I feel interoperability is the key in the future, and uh, we are getting more and more modular. So in the future, we just keep building the like uh, user facing like uh, you know uh, infrastructure and all the fundamental like uh, uh, like this kind of like more under layer stuff are we have a lot of partners working yeah. on it. Yeah. I wonder about how you actually interface with all of those bridges. Like you just sort of mentioned a few of them, but yeah. do they have to integrate with you? Do yeah. they have to deploy something or can you yeah. deploy for them on yourself? Oh, it's, it's actually depends. Like uh, for layer zero, they have to integrate us. Okay. And they did. And the wormhole is the same and Acceler is the same, but Hyperline, we can just use their stack. Okay. And they don't have to say, oh, yes or no. We yeah. don't have to talk to it's them. More permissionless, yeah, I just, guess use the like see their dock and then just mm. build something. How is the L2 space at the moment? Like yeah. I feel like this past six months, it's been sort of like a yeah. rough ride. Yeah. There's some yeah. some L2s that you're still yeah. seeing kind of like yeah. keeping the steam yeah. and then others have suffered a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What, how do you feel through all this? I feel, you know, it's getting more and more competition. Like yeah. we, are, we are not the first L2 and we are definitely not the last one. Yeah. So like we launched in a good time. I think, you know, like for me that we launched in the like first Celestra one, yeah. super aligned with Celestra. And uh, it's good combination because we focus on APEC area. They focus on like, you know, different area. So mm -hmm. we have this, you know, combination on like narrative wise and adoption wise, because in Asia, like, and especially for users, if you go like uh, Thailand or like Indonesia, I wear this shirt, they just tell, talk to me, oh, I know Manta. Oh, wow. I have like, you know, see some dApps built on top of you guys. Mm. And I got really surprised when I visit Bali Island like last month. So we did really great community there. Uh, and I think in general, like uh, we focus on developer in this like uh, emerging market. Interesting. And, uh, we find, you know, like uh, all these builders, they don't have VC back then. Mm -hmm. It's not like New York or SF, but uh, they really commit building stuff. Mm. It's like Etherscan from Malaysia, like, you know, Jupiter from Malaysia. Those teams are find the product market fit before raising or before wow. launch token. So that's something like uh, have to build high quality product mm. rather than like quantity, quantity product. Is Manta an EVM then? Yeah, yeah. Is it Solidity yeah. code that yeah. would be deployed? OP stack. Okay, yeah. OP stack. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So you sort of mentioned a few teams there, yeah. but like, what is adoption like? What is being built? What yeah. kinds of project? What kinds of things are you yeah. seeing? So like, uh, I I can say there's no missing piece right now. So there's gaming, like there's on-chain game, and there's like uh, DeFi, perp decks, everything. But uh, like uh, on the user side, generally, I think emerging market users still our focus because the gas fee is super low compared mm -hmm. to other L2 because Celestia. For the focus, we like from the project level, we really focus on RWA so we can bring extra level of the yield on top of the like existing like you know crypto yield. yield yeah so okay is that almost like you get like is this like where you have like bonds in the real yeah, world yeah, and they have yield exactly. and then you add okay exactly like uh, T bill from like BlackRock Build Fund mm. and uh, CD5 like Isina but we work with Binance on that mm. so that's kind of the extra yield but there's also the LST token native on Manta, so these ca oh. tokens can use in different DeFi protocols. Wait, so like Manta has an LST. Does Manta yeah. have a validator set then? Does uh, it have I its mean, own? S LST just use like layer zero to oh. launch. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's permissionless, but it's based on real assets or based on, you know, partners mm. launching these product products. Mm. Yeah. Cool. I wondered, so we're here at the Modular Summit. Yeah. We're recording yeah. here. What is the feeling? I know it's still day yeah, one yeah, that we're yeah, doing I this mean, particular interview, but yeah. Feel, this is the largest side event, I have to say, right? I think For so. the whole ECC. And I can't believe it's three days. I mean, <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's really great. Uh, uh, I mean, like, I'm really looking forward to it. We have both, you know, and uh, also I'm really focused on adoption. So, like, uh, we are we are sharing a lot of our experience in the modular space about you know how we educate you know end user in the mm. emerging market about modularity. Clearly, I don't think you know if we talk about light node and the block space, it now makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just talk about there's cheaper gas fee. 
and uh, which is extremely makes sense for a lot of users. That's very cool. And this actually works. And uh, compared to, you know, like a uh, lot of other layer tools, I feel, you know, we are really unique in the like RWA side and also on the, you know, culture building side. Like uh, we have a lot of like meme culture stuff. We work with Bunk, actually announced yesterday. What was it? Bunk. Bunk. Uh, it's okay. like a Solana <laughs> meme coin. <laughs> Okay. It's kind of random, but uh, it's really funny. Like, I like dog, you know, okay. I'm a dog person. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's, I like that culture. They're really cool guys. Mm. Uh, and, you know, we, we focus a lot of this practical stuff. Mm. And, uh, but uh, layer two space is interesting. Everyone have their own focus. But I feel, you know, you have to be like a uh, user have to like that. Otherwise, cannot survive. Yeah. Generally, in the markets that you are kind of going out in, how are you doing it? Like, I, I hear you're sort of like playing into the meme stuff, yeah. but is there anything else on the ground that you yeah. actually have to do yeah. to get people to use it? I mean, I feel like there's a lot of different things. Like, you know, uh, first, uh, the product level, like we design the product really user friendly and really target, you know, easier to understand mm -hmm. and pretty straightforward. And we don't say like, you know, there's some like potential, some stuff, you make the rules really clear. You join something, you can get whatever, something like, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like really straightforward. And on the other level, the distribution channel, like we have people in Vietnam, we have people in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's like part of our core team. So mm -hmm. like in foundation, like Manta Foundation, super like diverse, like uh, super worldwide and uh, focus on emerging market, focus on users. If we find, you know, oh, there's a place have a lot of users, like recently Turkey, we hire a lot of people there. Got it. And, you know, we work with local partners there, work with like local like exchange, mm -hmm. get more and more distribution channel. What's the most exciting use case or like application you've seen deployed on Manta? Uh, I mean, I feel like uh, basically the CD5 product for institution, this works, you know, yeah. they, they want to still keep the asset off chain mm -hmm. and in the custody, but that's, at the same time, we launched the RST on top of it. That's something really interesting for institutions, especially in Asia, like Hong Kong's listed company, they pretty into that. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the like retails, I feel, you know, still gaming, but uh, like mm -hmm. relaxed game, small game, but uh, you know, keep literation every week. That is something like uh, also distribution channels through Telegram. It can be really interesting because oh. everyone using Telegram. You just mentioned games. I gotta say, like I'm out of the loop on games. Yeah. What are are the games getting to? A, like, at what quality level are they? Would you say are they still sort of like at? Remember when there were Facebook yeah. games yeah. and you were like grinding, yeah, exactly. chopping wood yeah, or yeah. farming or whatever? Yeah, yeah, Is it yeah. like that still? Yeah, it's still like okay. it don't you don't have to make it don't have to make the game super complicated. Yeah. But people spend time on it. Do you see any games kind of elevating from there? Do you see any that are becoming a little bit more, I don't know, sophisticated? I, mean, I feel the design like uh, is more like uh, it's not like the design, like the art kind of design or visual design. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, the level of design in the like uh, mechanism or like the level of design in the incentive. It goes different. That's getting sophisticated. Uh, and uh, it's getting right. super sophisticated. Interesting. But uh, for the like, uh, I don't think AAA game work. It takes three years, build nothing, yeah. and this every step goes on chain. It can really hard yeah. to make it, but a relaxed game every week there can be new one. So that's something really exciting for users. But what could allow a AAA game to come on? Do you think it's like the L3s could maybe no, do? It? I, Still not. It's, I don't it's, know. it's about speed, not about price, I guess. Even right. I feel it's about like. Uh, they don't need blockchain. They just don't need yeah. it. Yeah, I just feel if you know the company build AAA game, they need to pay extremely high resources yeah, to yeah, yeah. go to market. They need to buy ad advertisement, mm -hmm. all of this. But Web3 don't have advertisement. People, advertisement is airdrop. Yeah. So it's different like stories. Industries. Yeah. yeah. Still, I have, I mean, there's this, this, this case of like yeah. the skins in a game being yeah. transferable. Yeah. You hear this, you know, yeah, for yeah, years. Yeah. And I'm wondering if like 
So maybe it's not an entire game yeah. on chain, but yeah. like a part of it on chain, yeah, yeah. a marketplace on yeah. chain. Have you seen anything like that? Yeah, I, definitely. I feel, you know, like uh, more and more this kind of happen, but uh, I think fully on chain game is still very, still very early. Away. I mean, we we try to build toolings like called ZK app, like make hiding information ZK circuit okay. using like Circon, just, you know, to make developer, they, they just call the SDK or call contract mm -hmm. to build some fully on chain game. We, but uh, it's really hard, to, you know, to, to go to market because user, they don't care, you know, if it's fully on chain, if it's using ZK Makes for a lot of use cases. Cool. Yeah. What's next for Manta? Uh, I mean, like, uh, still we care about user and by infrastructure level, I'm really excited, you know, decentralized sequencer. Oh, cool. I feel, you know, that can make, you know, landscape change to because that's the still one of the missing piece for decentralization and uh, we want to push forward that and the proof aggregation and bullish on it yeah yeah and uh, like this kind of things i feel mm -hmm. is really modular it's not like we need a new monolithic chain but uh, we need some small pieces to improve existing l2 but these small pieces can make significant change for user experience or developer experience. Significant differences. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Thanks for sharing all yeah, of this and the story of Manta. Yeah. And also, I, yeah. I also find these kind of like new emerging, like the prover marketplaces yeah. and the shared yeah. sequencers fascinating. Exactly. Looking cool. forward to that. Thanks yeah. so much. And thank you for watching this episode of Sovereign Radio. Uh, maybe we'll see you at the next one. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs>